And welcome back. As the United States prepares to welcome Chinese President Xi Jinping for a state dinner, the U.S. is also threatening new economic sanctions against Chinese individuals or groups involved in recent cyber attacks. In April, the president signed an executive order that allows him to impose penalties on anyone who engages in destructive acts of cyber espionage. And now it looks like the president is ready to go follow through on those executive orders. White House officials told The Washington Post that they expect these sanctions to be issued over the next two weeks. To discuss this in more depth is Gordon Chang. He's a contributor at Forbes.com. Gordon, it's also great to have you with us. You are the author of the new book as well, The Coming Collapse of China, obviously an area of expertise for you here. The president's critics have told him he needs to get tough on China. Is this the president getting tough? I think this certainly is the president getting tough. And it's maybe not so much in response to critics. I think that there has been a real change in Washington. And you see this across the political spectrum. Um, there's just a feeling that China is not going to move in the right directions unless we start imposing costs. And all this dialogue that we've had for four decades just has not pushed China in, in really the way that we wanted to. So I think that this is just the result of a change in views um, across the, the political aisle. Now, the president's critic, critics, including some of the uh, Republican presidential candidates, have said it's time for the president to cancel this state dinner. Do you think that would be a, a bad idea or would it be effective? Yeah, I think we need to talk to the Chinese, but certainly we should not be giving them the pomp and circumstance of a state visit. You know, this is a 21-gun salute on the South Lawn during the welcoming ceremony. This is also a state dinner in the East Room. This is clearly inappropriate at this particular time. You know, the Chinese want to do this because they want those television images to go back to China to basically legitimize the Communist Party. Xi Jinping wants to say that the United States respects China and respects him. Well, we shouldn't be doing that at this particular moment, largely because of China's behavior. So that aspect of it is wrong. You know, let's give him the Big Mac, as, as Donald Trump says. Um, maybe have him bring his own food. But the point is, it shouldn't be a state dinner. But yes, let's talk to him. Would he still come if they change the circumstances of the visit at this point? I actually think that he would. And, and um, the reason is um, that he very much needs things from the United States at this moment. Mm. His economy right now is in serious difficulties. You have a plunging stock market. Worse, you have a currency that is falling. You have an economy that is growing, not at the 7.0% that they claim, but maybe 1% or 2% if it's growing at all. And clearly, it's not going to be growing in three or four months. It's going to be in contraction territory. He really needs the U.S. And this is a time for us to exert leverage because we have them where we want them. But the only thing that is missing is American will to exert American power. All right. Can you give us some insight on what Susan Rice was doing in China recently when she was there for a few days? She was talking to Chinese President Xi Jinping and to lower officials about this visit. And I'm sure she went through the whole range of issues that are going to be discussed. But what was really interesting and what was new this time was that she was talking about American concerns about the Chinese economy. And apparently Chinese officials, oh, they talked to her about it, but they really weren't very forthcoming. They didn't want to discuss the issue. And I can understand why. Um, but clearly this is something new, uh, a new dimension really in, in our relations with them. Because up to now, everyone said, you know, China was going to grow and become the world's biggest economy. Um, well, clearly that's not the case now. And uh, they've got some problems. And Susan Rice wanted to discuss it with them. They were re reluctant. Now, you mentioned that the United States has some leverage here, that the Chinese need the United States in terms of what could happen with the economy here. But do you anticipate any kind of countermeasures from the Chinese if these sanctions are put in place? I'm sure the Chinese will have countermeasures. Um, you know, it would be surprising if they didn't. But, you know, this is an issue of who's tougher. And right now, um, you know, China, I think, is a very good negotiator, as Donald Trump says. Um, he may be wrong about everything else, but he's certainly right about China that we do not negotiate good deals with China. We don't enforce those deals. Um, and right now, um, we have a lot of leverage because they need our export, they need our market for their exports. They need American cooperation on not raising interest rates next month. Because if we do that, we might actually push China over the edge just by increasing interest rates. So there's a whole bunch of things that we can do or not do um, that give us extraordinary power over the Chinese right now.
All right, well, this has been said before in prior meetings between President Xi and President Obama that it could be the most important since the one with President Nixon and Chairman Mao. But is this really the most important meeting of these two presidents since Nixon met with Mao? Um, probably not. Um, that's a pretty high bar. Um, but I actually do think that it is important in the sense that China right now is in a position where it's probably not able to have good relations with the rest of the world. So in a sense, um, I don't see this as a meeting where we can actually um, get as far as we want to go, um, especially considering the restraints that we put on ourselves. Yeah, certainly that. And there's this other issue of the South China Sea, too, which I'm sure will come up. And Gordon will have you back to talk about that aspect of this upcoming trip in the near future. Gordon Chang, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. And there you see his book, The Coming Collapse of China, available now. Always good to have Gordon with us. We've got more coming up here. We're going to take a look at your headlines right after this and also delve deeper into Hillary Clinton's emails.